Hi, today we're going to be unboxing a Rotomax 50cc motor, uh, the brushless DC motor that was used on our electric bike this year. Now the Rotomax 50cc I ordered from Hobby King, uh, it has the following specifications. Uh, for the 50cc it's 172 kV, which is RPM per volt, um, a no load current of 1.6 amps, resistance of 21 milliohms. 120 amps is the maximum current, runs off 12S LiPo uh, and the ESC recommended is at least 180 amps. So we'll have a look inside the box. Looking inside the box you've got this foam pad and then the motor is quite well packed inside in the plastic bag as well. So pull that out. And here we have the motor. So we'll do some quick measurements first before we disassemble it. The can diameter of the motor is 79 uh, millimeters, and the actual mounting section is 41 millimeters. It's got an IC4 style prop mount, so four quite long bolts here, and the shaft in the middle is seven and a half mil. Uh, outside diameter. At the bottom you've got 62 millimeters uh, center to center for the, the mounts and then it's quite open at the bottom there. So we're going to go ahead and quickly take apart the motor. Another uh, slight measurement you might like is that the motor uh, can length is 58 millimeters and from the bottom of the can from the bottom of the mount to the actual prop mount itself is 93 millimeters in length. So we're going to go ahead and pull the motor apart. Now. Okay, to begin uh, disassembly of the motor, we're going to start by taking out these four prop bolts. So you use a four mil Allen key, and they're quite deep bolts as they screw right in to the base of this uh, adapter here. So I'm just going to take those out. And then you can see the prop mount plate just comes off like that. Okay, swapping to the bottom now, we're going to use a 2mm Allen key and remove these four bolt holes here uh, that hold the bearing in. Now, these are quite tightly held. The motor has uh, Loctite in it. And you can hear it crack like that. So it's quite hard to get all of these out. There you go. Second one taken out. And this is actually holding the bottom mount into the skirt bearing. So there's a central aluminium block, which you'll see soon. So we take these four bolts out. There we are, and you can see the Loctite on the actual thread. Okay, so now this is the mounting plate coming off. So you have that, and it's got a special hole for allowing the three phase wires from the motor to come out. So here, we have the actual aluminium mounting block, which forms the inside of the skirt bearing, upon which the motor actually rotates, and then some ventilation slots. For this centre bit, we need a 4mm Allen key, some slots in there, turn it, and that takes out the locking pin for the bearing. So 
So that's disassembling it from the bottom. The next stage is to take out these five little grub screws that hold the actual can casing onto the skirt bearing. Um, these are really soft metal and so you really need to use a good Phillips screwdriver and take them out. Okay, so uh, we're now removing these screws from the motor can. So there's actually six screws, I believe I said five before. And they come out reasonably easily, as long as you actually use a proper Phillips screwdriver and push in firmly to begin with. So removing all of those out, I've cut, taken a couple out just to speed up the process. Okay, so getting into the motor casing, you have to remove this skirt from the actual can itself. So you put a narrow Phillips screwdriver, a uh, flat blade screwdriver, into the gap and it starts to open up. And you just work your way around, kind of like taking a tire off, and just making it loosen up out of the, the can. So I'm just using a small flat blade screwdriver. And then you get a larger, fillet, uh, larger flat blade and turn it around a little bit. You can see it's almost out now. Okay, so now we can hold on to the skirt and pull the actual motor casing complete with 28 magnets and the central shaft out from the stator and the skirt bearing. So this is the stator, it's got 24 poles and I believe it's got six turns of copper wire and there's about um, 25 parallel strands of 0.2 mil wire in there um, and they have six turns as well uh, in a delta configuration so it's reasonably well uh, wired there are some inconsistent turns uh, around the motor but overall it's quite well wired and there's a lot of epoxy that holds all of these these windings together so that's the disassembly of a Rotomax 50cc motor